Hello, this lesson is for Todd, one of my Skype students. His camera failed him this morning, so he wasn't able to make the lesson. Uh, I've got this video for him instead. I'm going to talk about taking a minor pentatonic scale and adding a bunch of in-between chromatic notes, make it sound a little more bluesy and dissonant. Here's the sound we're going for. <laughs> So everything I just did there was based around the C minor pentatonic scale, built on the 8th fret right here. It's all based around that, and I was adding notes in between all of those spots. So let's just look at each string one at a time and look at the notes we can add in between. So I usually don't put anything on the low E string. I don't really like adding anything in between there. So on the A string, normally we'll have 8th fret and 10th fret. Add in the 9th fret. So we get 8, 9, 10. That, make, that turns it into, officially, the blues scale. And the other notes, uh, they don't really have a name for them. When you add those notes, it doesn't become some other scale. Uh, there's just not names for them. This one in particular, do we call it the blue scale? Moving on to the D string, we normally have fret 8 and 10. We can do the same thing, add fret 9 in there. That might sound familiar. So as you start to get these under your fingers, start to play around with them just like you would with a normal pentatonic scale, um, just add in those extra notes and see what it sounds like and play with that dissonance. Moving on now to the G string, we can do pretty much the same thing. It starts, uh, it goes 8 and 10 normally, and we can do 8, 9, 10. This particular note, you have to be more careful with it though. Because it sort of turns it into resolving into a major sound. So we're playing along with this minor pentatonic. Suddenly that note comes out. It's not quite dissonant, it just uh, turns the thing on its head and makes it sound major and happy rather than minor and you know evil and badass. So be careful with that note. If that's the sound you're going for, definitely use it. But it can also be used just as an in-between note going from 8, 9, 10 on that string. So, so far we have... One other thing we can do on the same string is add the note on the 11th fret. So we're, we originally have 8 and 10. We can also add fret 11. That's that blue note again. My favorite things to do with this is start on fret 10 and then do a little uh, a little hammer on pull off pull off kind of thing turning around go so you're on fret 10 hammer on to 11 pull off back to 10 pull off down to 8 and you can do this with these three fingers or these ones if you want That gives it that really bluesy sound. It's a very guitaristic thing to do. On the B string now, we normally have 8 and 11. And we can add in fret 10. And finally, on the high E string, we can do the same thing again. We normally have 8 and 11. And we can do 8, 10, 11. So on the top two strings, the B and the E string, you can go 8, 10, 11, 8, 10, 11. That gives you a lot more notes to work with than just minor pentatonic. 
So reviewing everything so far, on the low E string, I didn't add anything. You could, if you want, go 8, 10, 11 there. I usually don't do that. Uh, on the A string, we got 8, 9, 10. On the D string, we've got 8, 9, 10. On the G string, we have two options. We can go 8, 9, 10, or we can go 8, 10, 11. On the B string, we can go 8, 10, 11. High E string, 8, 10, 11. And it's important to view all of this as an augmentation of that original minor pentatonic scale. Not really as its own scale per se, but all these extra notes we're adding in are inferior to the original notes. View them that way. So we're this is our skeleton. The original minor pentatonic scale, these extra notes are going to go in between and you can use them as transitions or uh, dissonant notes that you bring in once in a while. So have fun playing around with these extra little notes. Make sure you explore the dissonances that each one has. Each, each little note will sound a little bit different, have a different effect. And be creative with how you combine them. You can uh, take two notes on different strings, for example, and not just going linearly one note at a time. But, uh, for example, when you're on the, the G and the B string, when you're going 8, 10, 8, 11, normally in the minor pentatonic, you can add that 10th fret there on the B string, and you can go... You get these little two notes on the same fret of the G and the B string. It's a very bluesy sound. So little things like that. Be creative with how you combine this stuff and just explore and improvise and have fun. See ya!